You know, I don't know how many people saw this season coming from the, Bemid from the Bemidji Lumberjacks softball team. Last season, they went 8-13, losing 8 of their last 9 games, and they graduated 9 seniors. But it's been a welcome surprise for the Jacks. A 13-7 record, the top seed in the section tournament, and after a win over Alexandria, just a game away from the Section 8-3A Finals. Bemidji hosting Detroit Lakes today. Taylor Prusher would hit a solo shot on the first pitch to give the Lakers the 1-0 lead. But it wouldn't take long for the Jacks to strike back. Annika Takinen lays down the bunt. She won't be on base for long. Yvette Morgan sends it way back. A two-run shot gives Bemidji the 2-1 lead. Gabby Takinen on the mound for Bemidji. She's been their ace this season. In a tough spot with runners on first and third. Gets the ground ball she's looking for to get out of the second unscathed. In the third, Maddie Kirchner at bat sees a pitch she likes, but Samantha Edlin, the leadoff hitter, flashing the leather, makes the nice running snag. Bemidji trying to get some more runs in the third. Gracie Fisher with two on, struck her out, then the throw out, Edlin at third to get out of that jam. Luckily, two runs is all Gabby would need today. The strikeout to start the seventh inning, and with one on and two outs, gets Amber Lyman to pop out. Caught by Fisher, and that is your ball game. Bemidji wins 2-1 to one to make it to the section finals. While the game certainly didn't start the way they'd like it to, the Jacks showed resiliency by bouncing back quickly. Uh, I was thinking, oh crap. A <laughs> um, little pit in the stomach, but uh, you know, we just said, hey, we got to regroup and do what we know we can do, and that is play defense, get good pitching, and then hopefully our offense could come through, and all of that happened in the first inning. I knew my team was going to be behind me the rest of the way. They are so great. Like, they are so talented, every one of them. I trust them completely. I know that when the balls hit, they are going to make the plays, so it's so great knowing that they're behind me. Bemidji will be back in action Wednesday against DL again, or Sartell, the winner of that game. Two tries to make it to state for Bemidji. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.